water, the most important substance for life on earth. Without it, nothing could survive. Three days without water and you're basically dead or you're well on your way to it. So how could you survive out here in the wilderness without a sustainable water source? But let's say you're surrounded by ocean. Could you turn ocean water into drinkable water? That's what we're going to find out today. First thing we need to do is get out there. Let's collect some seawater. Anyone who has recently taken a trip along a beachfront has noticed that they are littered with debris. Fortunately, if you're trying to survive and turn ocean water into drinking water, everything you need to make that process happen, you will find on a local beach. All you need is a can. something to collect the water a metal rubber or plastic hose and of course your seawater and the last item you need is a fuel source and out here there's no shortage of a fuel source. Of course, I'm talking about wood. For today's demonstration, I won't be using our fuel source wood. I'll be using a stove in order to speed up the process. However, in a real survival situation, you probably wouldn't have a stove, simply because even if you had the fuel, you would eventually run out. But wood is readily available out here and you can certainly use it for this process. Once you've collected your can and you've got your hose, you need to drill a hole in your can big enough that your hose can fit in there. Not too large, otherwise the steam will escape through the openings. just like that. The next step, take your seawater, put it in your can. Do not fill your can to the brim. The reason for that is you want a pocket of air in there so that when you're boiling the water, there's room enough in there for the steam to escape through the hose into your collection pot. Now that you've got your fuel source going, the next step place your hose inside the can, but do not stick it in so far that it's in the water. It has to be in that air pocket so that the steam can rise up through into your collection pot. And to keep it there, you're going to need a little bit of gun tape.
I'm using Gorilla Tape for this process. And what I'm doing is not only keeping the hose stationary so it doesn't fall into the water, but covering up any opening that there might be left. So check this out folks, it's 20 minutes approximately into this process and you can already see the steam collection on the hose down here pushing the water up into my collection source. Well, as you can see, the process worked. Let's test it out. Potable drinking water from seawater.